for any of it, but I'm gonna show you how to stain or paint pretty quickly. And then at the end of it, I'm gonna do a little bit of B art so that uh, we can, uh, Queens will be able to tell the entry on the way in. So get yourself a little bit of stain, put it on here. You can see it applies really easily. It's not like a wood stain. It's more, like, well, it is a wood stain, but it doesn't look like a traditional stain. It's just a covered stain. Kind of cheat here and use the lid for a good place to put my paint, my stain. I'm putting it on pretty thick, yes. Uh, because I, I'm not, I'm not expecting to come paint this thing three or stain this thing three or four times. I'm gonna do it one time. It'll be fine. Put on a little bit heavy, <clears throat> and you can stain this thing in no time at all. And this pine really just drinks in stain. Uh, I'm gonna do a video pretty soon that's on my first year kind of things, the top five things I've learned. And believe me, there's a lot more than top five, but uh, I do think new beekeepers need to help other beekeepers learn. There's so many things that can be very confusing and, and really you don't want to make it all that confusing. You want to try to get somebody to make it simple for you. And if you want to, you can be very confused in a hurry. But the best thing to do is go online and watch some of the videos. Uh, I, I like David Burns. He's a really good, great person, seems like, and just he's fun to watch. He's done it for a long time. I like Barnyard Bees. I like Cayman Reynolds. Uh, there's a lot of different ones that I, I like. Okay, well I got several boxes done. I'm about to switch over to a different color paint here. I'm gonna use more of a off-white and uh, I'm gonna keep painting these. I'm gonna paint the rest of these. Uh, you can see four or five boxes done, four boxes done. The rest of them are gonna be white. Okay, well, I got all the boxes um, that dried overnight. <clears throat> one thing, just to make sure, go go by and make sure that your feeder fits in each one of them really nice since you painted it with a coat of uh, stain or paint. What's likely to happen sometimes is because the tolerance isn't too great, it might be a little bit tight. So just cut you a piece of sandpaper and just work that back and forth and it'll, uh, free up any space you need in order for this to fit in there nice and snug. All right, got all my boxes lined up across here. I'm just gonna go to each one of these and put a little bit of, uh, just some little bit of bee art that, uh, let's just do a flower, maybe a rose. On this one. <clears throat> and, uh, what that'll do is help them to just be able to identify this little hive a little bit better. Okay, so that one's just got a little bit of a flower on it here. All right, I'm not gonna do anything crazy here. <clears throat> and I'll come over to the next one and uh, maybe just put a, be able to tell that's their little hive right there. I'll come to the next one and maybe just do something 
simple. Something that's different that they can uh, identify. Okay, something real simple, right? Uh, this one may even just do a, might be a limb that has a, what people would see as a big beehive. More like a hornet's nest. I love a bunch of little bees flying around. Okay, we'll just keep doing that all through here, and then that way they can come in here and quickly uh, look at their hive. I'm gonna turn them different directions, opposite colors, and uh, hopefully the queens will find their way back. These are all finished up. Here's a finished product. You can uh, quickly build these little two frame loops. You can see some of the artwork on the front so they can identify their hive. Um, and uh, real easy to do. Give it a try. Help them be able to identify where they should come back to. All right, if you like, subscribe.